Hi guys again, Lucas here, and this is part three out of four uh, how I, uh, no, of how I created my underwater effects, where I'm going to go through fog, uh, how I added that, and how I set it up, how I added the caustics, and uh, how I added the particles. So let's just enable my fog, exponential height fog, and this is the settings that I used. Uh, so where you can find that is just if you go to visual effects there is the exponential height fog you can just drag and drop it in here into your uh, project so what I did for this exponential height fog it's uh, uh, the, the the settings are really limited so you cannot do too much but you have a fog density fog in scattering color fog height follow uh, fog max opacity and start distance so I just gonna show you I'm just going to show you uh, what is going to happen if I'm start if I start to change some of these values, so let's just start by uh, st uh, fog start distance. So as you can see, now it's at about 800 units. So if I go further, you can see that I'm getting cleaner view, and if I go to zero, I'm getting uh, fog everywhere around me. So I just have it about 800, or whatever you feel like looks like underwater. You can just adjust it and you can combine it with the post process volume so if you'd be like oh I want just my fog to start somewhere about 2000 but I want this to be more blue so we can just go to post process volume grab this uh, scene color tint and get this and make this darker and as you can see you get in a totally different effect so you can create interesting underwater effects and they can be all different just by playing with these settings that you have but uh, fog itself has uh, really limited settings because what I wanted to do was I wanted to blend between two colors so it would be like a closed color which was a light blue and then a, a further color which would be a dark blue so it would be getting a more realistic look but I couldn't do that I'm pretty sure that there is some uh, workarounds I just couldn't figure out how to do it uh, but I'm going to show you what I did with the fog was so if you have this fog density so I just make this a little bit closer just something about here and if you have your fog density to 0 0.5 but you be like oh I want to see further into distance which you can just change this to 0 0.2 and you can see further into distance and if you change it to 1 it's really really dark or even 10 it's going to be totally dark fog uh, so you can just play again with these values I had it on 0 0.5 what it felt it, it was good and then you have a fall off and a density so if you can see this is how fog is falling off so you can just put it to zero and again the max opacity is if it's opaque or not so as you can see this I liked the settings to be like that for my fog so you can just pause the video and copy the settings now for the caustic slide I'm going to enable that which is just a directional light and it has a light function on it which is a material with the caustics on it as well that are moving so let's enable that and as you can see a caustics are on the floor and you can again play with the settings of this light so you, you want a more intense caustics you can change the intensity you can change even the color of the caustics you might get a you might use this for a disco or something else if you like so again um, and uh, next I'm going to open this water caustics material put it on full screen right here uh, as I mentioned before, I mentioned it again, I'm going to put the uh, links to the tutorials uh, I watched uh, and uh, you can do it as well. So for the caustics, uh, there was, uh, this is the material that I took off the forum, uh, which is just, uh, uh, you can uh, see what it's doing, it's just creating this motion for way ca chaos and uh, using this texture and it's just creating a look of a caustics on the floor and this is the uh, material which is the light function right here so it goes to your directional light and this will be projected on the floor so where are the shadows you won't get the caustics 
Um, then I have intensity parameter that I can change. How intense do I want them to be? I have a speed uh, I can change of how fast do I want them to go. And then I have a tiling. Oh, I can zoom them really close or really far. So I'm going to show you. Okay, uh, you can just pause the video here again if you want. I'm going to set it like this and just copy the settings. And the texture is just a simple texture. Um, so let's close this and let's open the caustic slide. Let's open this material here. This is the instance of the caustic material and now I can just play with the with intensity and you can see it's changing intensity. You can see really intense caustics or really low intensity. You can change the speed as well. You can want them to be really fast that it looks like uh, water we can create really interesting effects with this, so let's go set it to 0 0.5. Um, and then you have a tiling of how close do you want them to be. You can see you can create, <laughs> looks like a like totally different effect. So you can just create really interesting effects with these settings. So let's just put it back as it was before. And uh, you can again copy these settings and put it into your project if you like them. I'm going to close this and I'm going to talk about particles a little bit. So uh, if I go to my particles here, they're all invisible at the moment, so let's make visible let's make them visible. I think I'm getting lags from it. Give it a second guys. Now, so as you can see, I enabled the particles and you can see these uh, little dust particles that are floating around in the water and uh, my, my computer started lagging uh, or it was loading particles really a uh, long time because uh, it is kind of expensive process on a processor. So here is the particles that I used. It is just the default particles that comes with the uh, engine. So it's this amb ambient dust, and I just scale it up to a four and uh, make the seconds before inactive to be five and a custom time duration to be five as well. Uh, you can scale them as you like. You can scale them, let's say, let's lock this and let's scale them to eight so you can see what, what is going to happen, how big they're going to be. So I have to run the game for you to see the difference, but let's just start this. Save. This is starting my project. So let's, let's wait a second. Let's get this to full screen. Let's switch it to camera one. And as you can see, here is the floating particles all around, all around the all around the scene, different angles, different cameras. So let's escape this. So that is the particle settings and that would be all for this part and in the next part I'm going to talk about uh, the testing and optimization and what you can do to make it run faster. So thank you very much.